Getting to know our marine life is the first step to appreciating and looking after it properly. Now, not everybody's a keen diver, or maybe you're not old enough yet to strap on a snorkel and mask, but that's no problem. You can come here to the Island Bay Marine Education Centre. I'm going to meet with Judy and some budding marine biologists to learn the fun way that there's some remarkable wildlife along our shorelines. Crash, crash, here come the waves again, breaking down. So Judy, how did you come to set up such a fantastic facility? Well, we saw the demand for it out there in the community, James, and um, the, the kids just have a thirst of knowledge, wanting to find out about what lives in their own front yard. And the marine life that we have here on Wellington's south coast is unique and beautiful, and people just want to learn about it. So we've been operating now for about 16 years, and um, it's proved very, very popular, and we've just gone from strength to strength. So what are the activities that children get to engage with when they come here? They can shake hands with an octopus, they can feed the fish. We have a special touch gently area where they can actually have very close encounters with a lot of the animals and hold them gently and have a really close-up look at them. Hey, Jake and Tommy, come and look at these guys. Look, this one here is called a snake star or a spider star. We'll give you one of those guys. And here's one for Jake. You have to be very gentle with these ones because if they break their leg, they can grow a new one back again, but we don't want that to happen. Oh look, he's crawling up your arm. What do you think about that? It's quite cool, aren't they? I'll put this one back. Now there's something else I want to show you. Jake, you can just slip that one back in the water if you'd like to. That's it. Do you know what this one's called? Uh, a sea cucumber, yeah. It's actually a cousin of a starfish. And they're very good vacuum cleaners. They cruise around on the bottom of the ocean and they can actually hoover up all the yucky old dead stuff, like old fish and bits of seaweed and stuff like that. This one, it's called a decorator crab. And decorator crabs are really clever because if they're hiding out amongst seaweed, they can nip the seaweed off with those big nippers, see underneath? And they can actually attach the seaweed to their shell. And they've got little hooks like Velcro on their shell, or they can spit on the seaweed with a special crab spit and it's like super glue, and they can put the seaweed on top of the shell. You think you'd like to hold one of these? A bit scary. Come a bit closer and put your hands over the water just in case. They won't bite you because they're not scared. See, it tickles a bit, doesn't it? What a superb place to meet with some amazing marine creatures and without even getting your feet wet. And with an enthusiastic marine biologist guide like Judy, you're sure to learn quite a few facts. So no matter how rough the seas or bad the weather, why not make a visit here to the Island Bay Marine Education Centre to meet some amazing marine creatures. Oh, can you feel it? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. It's my summer time.